Hello again Cougar Academy Algebra 2 and welcome to our new lesson in our new course lesson 5.1. Today's essential question, how do you use the properties of exponents? So we're going to be simplifying and making sure our answer contain only positive exponents, okay? So let's take a look at to, uh, as to what is going on in number one here. Um, so we have our first property we're going to use here. And basically what it states is that if you have the same base um, to exponents, you're going to add them. The 2 and the 4, we can just multiply like regular old numbers, so that's going to be 8. Um, but what we do with the x's is it's really x to the third plus 4. So we're going to add them and make it x to the seventh. Okay, so same base, you add the exponents. Um, that's if they're on the same level there. So 8x to the 7th, that's, that's really it. Um, let's take a look at number 2. Similar here. So x to the 4th and x squared. Um, we'll take care of the 3 times the 4, which is 12. Um, 4 and 2, hopefully that's pretty easy. Adding, adding, so x to the 6th. Um, that's where it comes out to be. Um, let's take a look at our second property. So this time, this is known as a power to a power property. And this time you're going to multiply the exponents. Now there's a few things here. So let's take a look. What we can do is we're going to actually distribute that power to both things. So it's going to be 4 to the third times b to the 3 times 3 is 9. So we're multiplying that there. Now 4 to the third, that's not 4 times 3. Uh, use your calculator to do 4 carat 3. And that's going to be 64 b to the ninth. So multiply the powers there, power to a power. Here they're on the same, you add. Uh, we call that the product of powers. Product of powers. Okay, power to a power. Um, let's take a look at another example, 4. So, same idea. Make sure we distribute to that 2. So, it's going to be 2 squared. Um, N to the 4 times 2, which is 8. Um, or just 4N to the 8th. Pretty easy stuff, hopefully, for that one there. Um, another example, this time we have the quotient of powers, or basically dividing, um, which you subtract, okay? Um, so we have four-thirds, now that's not going to be anything different. We don't subtract those numbers. The four and the three, that's good old division. So we're just going to have to leave that four-thirds. What we can subtract are the exponents, okay? So we have two and one, it's like taking x squared minus one, which means our final is just four over three, two minus one is x to the first. You don't need to write it, but that's what's going on there. So subtracting the exponents. Okay, let's take a look at another one. Um, three and four, so again, four thirds, we can't do anything fancy with that, so it's just gonna stay four divided by three. Now here, we have a to the third minus four. So this is going to be four thirds a to the negative one. Now here's the big thing, we don't like negative exponents. So no negative exponents. And it's an easy switch. If it's negative, you are just going to move it. If it's in the numerator, you move it to the denominator. If it's in the denominator, you move it to the numerator. Um, but for this case, it's going to be 4 thirds a to the first. Okay? A little thing to note. Notice how 4 is bigger? Well, that is where that variable should end up in the end, wherever the bigger power is. Um, for the time being, it goes to the numerator, 3 minus 4. 
it's negative one, which means it goes back downstairs. So this is the trickiest term probably of today, um, that negatives switch. So if, it's a, if you have a negative exponent, um, just switch the spot, switch, like a Nintendo switch um, locations. Okay, let's take a look at some others here. So, seven. Here we have the zero property. We're going to look into that. Well, anything to the zero is one. So, any number or anything to the zero power equals one. Okay, so really, if we look at this here, we have x to the fourth times quantity 2, x to the 0 is just 1, and then squared. Well, what's going on here, that's really x to the 4th times 2 squared, which means we just have 4x to the 4th. Okay, um, anything to the 0 is 1, not 0. Okay, I see some common mistakes with that in the future. Uh, so let's take another look here. Um, this is pretty easy. Let's actually, I'm going to raise this to the zero power. Little trick there. And let's see what happens. Um, so one thing we can think of is it's almost like we'd be multiplying this here. Um, so there's actually a few ways. We can think of this first as um, m to the eighth to the zero. 8 times 0 is just m to the 0, which equals 1, okay? Um, we could have also thought of it as m to the 0 times m to the 0, which is just 1 times 1. Regardless, you get 1. So different ways to look at that one. Um, but if we're going to have that 0 out there, it's just going to distribute through. Okay, let's take a look at some others here, okay? Here we have a whole bunch of combination of stuff here. So let's take it step by step. Let's take it slow. First, let's multiply all the regular numbers. 4 times 4 times 4, that's 64. Okay, let's think. What can we do with the a's? Um, we can add all the exponents. So 1 and 1 and 4 is a to the 6th. Let's add the B's. I know there's a negative, but let's just take care of that later. Negative 3 plus 2 plus 2 is going to be to the first. And look at that. There's no extra things to do. Um, we can just add them all. Now, that's key because there's multiplication in between all these. Okay. Number 10. Let's take a look at this one. So start by distributing the power. So it's going to be x to the 12, y to the negative 4. Again, negative exponents means we have to switch where the y is. So the x is going to stay up top. Okay, x to the 12 stays up there. The y to the negative 4 is going to move to the denominator and become positive. So that's it there. All righty. These are going to take some practice, some practice. Um, so that's exactly what the next part is. So um, practice your answers, uh, practice your these questions, look at the answers, and oh man, we got some challenging ones like 21 and 22. Oh my gosh. Uh, let, me, let me just take you through 21 real quick, okay, if you're just panicked. Take them slow, okay? Um, first, let's start by distributing the 4. Okay. Um, so uh, this is going to be 2 to the 4th. Oh, man. A to the 12th. C to the 12th. Okay. And we got all this other stuff. 2, A to the negative 4. C to the 0. Oh, my gosh. 2, c to the negative 3. And all that's raised to the third power. Are you guys enjoying this one as much as I am? I'm loving it. 
Okay, let's think of some other things we can do. Um, so before I even distribute that three, you could do it at any time really. Let's take a look. So two to the fourth, um, two to the fourth is really, I think that's 64 again, 16, sorry. So 16, a to the 12th. Now let's notice, a to the negative four, it's going to move up here because it's a negative. So I'm going to move that one up here, a to the positive four. Um, C to the 12th is still up there. This C to the negative three, okay, we can also move it up here too for the time being. It's gonna make it a little nicer because it's negative. Now C to the zero. C to the zero is just one. So really you can cancel that out. And what we have is two times two which is four. Now that's all still to the third power. Okay, let's take a look here then. So before we distribute that three still, um, 16 divided by four is just a regular old four. Let's add together our a's. So a to the 16, c to the 12 and three is 15. And we're gonna raise all that to the third. And that means we just multiply and distribute. So 4 to the third. A to the 16 times 3 is 48. And C 15 times 3 oh my, is 45. And 4 to the third is 64. Oh, man. So try them out, okay? You might not get it on the first try, but that's okay, okay? Um, just try those others. So good deal, guys. Um, try out those problems, check your answers, and let me know if you have some more questions.